Hi everybody and welcome to the Book Report presented by The Millions. My name is Janet and Mike has the week off because I want to bring you a conversation that I had recently with John Safran, the author of God Will Cut You Down. It's about the murder of Richard Barrett, a prominent white supremacist, by his young black neighbor, Vincent McGee. Uh, John Safran is an Australian documentarian who moved to Mississippi for a year to look into the case. Um, and it's a really fascinating book because it takes a lot of turns uh, that even John Safran doesn't expect, and he writes about it in a really candid and fascinating way, which is a lot of what I talked to him about. So here's that conversation. See you next week. What I thought was really fascinating about the book, and I've been telling people about it, is like, it seems like, you know, you went to Mississippi to look into this murder. By the second half of the book, it's as much about you trying to figure out how to write a true crime book. <laughs> I'm definitely fascinated by the mechanics of like storytelling and truth in storytelling. It was like I was starting over again and I, I, I did just find it fascinating about um, all, all those questions of uh, how, how, how you tell a story. And then I guess, what, I guess my sort of agenda was is I, I kind of find it annoying because my work is uh, cheeky or, you know, the sarcasm and all that stuff like that. I find it annoying, this kind of connection that earnestness equals mor morality and cheekiness and transgression equals, uh, you know, not, not being moral. I'm not going to pretend I'm that this book or what I'm doing here is sort of like there's something particularly dubious about it because I happen to be uh, a comedian and, you know, this is a serious thing. But I, I just don't think it works like that. And, and to give you an, an, an example of not just in this book but in a lot of my work, like I'm a character. And so I guess the, the you know, the automatic pilot thing is to kind of go, well, that's really self-indulgent because this is about Vincent McGee and this is about, about what, what, what have you got to do with it? And it's like, how indulgent? But I would say that the, the fact that in this book, I put myself in and kind of anchor it there, it really shows the reader what my limitations are and, and therefore what the limitations of the investigation is. Like, if, I don't think people are going to read this book and go, oh, this is this uh, bird's eye view that captures everything and everyone. It, it's so obvious that I'm limited in, uh, in that I literally talk about things I can't find out that are frustrating me and, and then... I, I literally bring in what I think is biasing me, which is sort of unusual things, uh, you know, like the fact that I just automatically think, uh, it's like, oh my God, his parents were divorced. That must be, that must, it must be that. <laughs> I was quite frustrated when I was researching and writing the book because I thought I'd got this particularly tangled, unclear case where everything was so complicated. You know, to give one example, like I'd gone in there because I wanted it to be a, a race crime where... You, you know, that's what the dynamic was. It was like the hillbillies at, in, at the, in the deep south against this black guy. But then someone brought up to me going, well, just say, just say Vincent McGee, the young black guy, killed Richard Barrett, the white supremacist, because he merely made a, pa a pass at him. It's like you can't just stab someone to death because they make a pass at you. So suddenly it's not a race crime. It's like a homophobic crime where mm -hmm. the white supremacist is the victim of homophobia from the young black And so... <laughs> The whole story was so messy and crazy and everything was unprovable. And I thought maybe I'd just hit upon this confusing murder. But back in Australia when I started writing about other crimes, I realised they're all like that. And I did start saying to people, like, there's no boring murders. Most people are kind of interesting, except you just have to ask the right thing. And usually asking about a murder is asking the right thing.